<laughs> Hello, my name is Dimitri. The remix of Klo and the song Sliding Doors. Today I would like to show you the way I did my remix. And first of all, I would like to say biggest thank you to Warren Hewitt and to Matt Lange and of course to Klo. And the first of all, I would like to say congratulate everybody we already won uh, because the opportunity itself to uh, participate in this remix contest is already a big prize this is the opportunity to participate the opportunity to create and uh, in this video I would like to show you the way uh, I did my remix this remix contest for me that was the new way of thinking how I will make that song um, when I discovered all the tracks I thought oh my god 51 or more tracks huh. and then I understood that I have to think uh, in a new way because when we um, download rem in, in other remix contests uh, the multi tracks where we have about 10, 12, 15, 20 tracks uh, we do not gonna need to think too much about how will we separate the tracks in the inner groups uh, and then start to think how each group gonna sound um, this time <laughs> that was not really easy to decide how I will make my steps one by one because uh, because we have lots of tracks of main vocals um, chorus vocals uh, a lot of instruments and of course when it comes to the style then I decided how I will make the groups, back vocals and the other instruments to not lose the mood of the song and at the, at the same time uh, to give something very new in the song. Because I am a gourmet or melman in this way. Uh, because if I see that some tracks or some music uh, compositions are made with a taste, uh, with, a, with the energy, with the inner giving away. So that's the key for me for the good, good music uh, in any genre, any style. Uh, without too much talking, I'm inviting you to the little journey of my remix and uh, let's start. So welcome to my mix. Uh, all the files and all the multi-tracks and everything is already sorted. All of the parts of my arrangement of this remix, they are um, also printed. There are few reasons <laughs> because, first of all, uh, the CPU uh, would just crash is if I would uh, show you um, all of the tracks and all of the uh, instruments uh, in the very beginning let's start uh, I would like to start with the first instrument this is the uh, this is the guitar from Avenger um, Vengeance Avenger um, company uh, the Avenger uh, music instrument is really, really, really cool. I like it a lot. So, um, I will show just two uh, effects that I added to this instrument. These are the R-Vox compressor from Waves. I like it a lot, not only on the vocals, but on the instruments also. 
And here is the second plugin from SK Note Audio. This is just amazing, amazing equalizer, which is, as I understand, this is this is Neve EQ. I like it a lot because you can hear adjust all the frequencies uh, that you want. You you have the gain. Um, you have everything uh, you need. This is really cool emulation. And here we have capacitors, inductors, transformers. They give uh, their own, own different character. Here we see the phases. Um, and these are just two plugins on this guitar. And what I decided to add at the very beginning as the very, very strong, impressive uh, beginning of the song which and gives the energy already from the same the from from the from the very first note uh, so these are the drums um, uh, from slate digital this is the free version it has already a lot in it and um, then I took damaged drums but I gave the whole energy of the drums in the beginning for the SSD drums uh, Slate Digital first track I, I made two tracks one of them is completely dry yeah this is dry and uh, second was really squashed by the AB Road compressor it sounds really great save the time Oh my god, it's too loud. Nice one, really nice. Let's listen that again. Extreme settings, yeah, I know. Instruments that we have after the drums and after the guitars. So first of all, I would like to say that uh, the a guitar in the very beginning I have few more guitars in the very beginning. These are also from uh, the Avenger instrument. They have um, um, they have really nice guitars in the instruments as multi instruments. So uh, here we have the a guitar main electric guitar that I used uh, together with the with the with this one in the very beginning so let's turn on um, the main E guitar it has um, also the R Vox and it has and it has the Kazrock plugin true dynamics actually it has uh, three different types of compressor in it and uh, one of them which I found the best for me uh, I used it on this guitar I just wanted to have the um, the energy of the track already from the first note. So I will turn on the drums and I will turn on Yeah, I will show you the bass. This is the bass from UGEM company and I have just two plugins on it. This is iHeart New York. This is very beautiful New York style compressor from Baby Audio and TDR Nova just because I wanted to adjust some frequencies on the bass and let's listen how it sounds in the very beginning. Okay, uh, that was the very beginning and I will switch off all the effects because of the CPU and next one goes um, the first verse uh, where Klo starts to sing this is Avenger I had a few sequences that 
are going together and uh, bum, 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 Avenger Avenger, let's listen to Avenger how it sounds and uh, electric guitar that comes later um, refill drums and riser riser these I have from the native instruments complete mm -hmm. let's start with the verse how it sounds Yeah, as you can see, uh, this is a lot of energy because of the sequences that I've found in, uh, in Avenger also. So here we have the vocals uh, of um, uh, Chloe and Lee Anna, uh, and the chorus and uh, all the back vocals. Uh, what we have here, I left the Moog bass only at the end of the, of the remix. Um, then we have a piano, then we have a synth ar arpeggio, um, which we can hear um, uh, more often than piano. And toms and crash, they comes, uh, they comes really, really, really careful in uh, in the song. So let's listen to that. Yeah. So you can hear how it slowly goes down. Here comes the bass and also the vocals. I want to hear the vocals very, uh, very unique sounding on the verse and the very strong sounding on the uh, on the chorus uh, because um, we have just. Um, uh, we have to have the contrasts uh, between the mm, chorus and the b between the verses because because it's very important not to overload the uh, listening or the ears of the listeners uh, with just one character that is very strong that it goes and goes and goes and goes and gets uh, it, it 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 can just destroy your attention first of all and second thing it's boring. It's really boring when they, everything sounds just like down, down, like a hammer. No, I did a lot much more transitions, transitions and, uh, and the interesting things um, that makes the mix a bit more uh, full of contrasts and uh, many other things. So let's listen to the other instruments or the, in this case, I would I would go to the vocals and uh, yeah um, because this is the place where my uh, processor or CPU was a little bit overloaded <laughs> so let's go to the vocals I will switch off all the instruments and yeah that requires my um, CPU uh, let's listen to the vocals of uh, CLO. I have added two plugins. It's also Baby Audio, iHeart, and Y. New York, yeah. And this is the beautiful saturation. This is emulation of the transistors 
as I understand, there are just few types of the different transistors or capacitors. I'm sorry, uh, capacitors which brings helps to to bring the vocals uh, straight forward. Forward. Let's listen without these instruments or without these plugins, and then with. You like the ghost that follows me wherever I go. The navel, there you are. Your helmet door. No one's ever been able to stop me on my track before. Your will be. With the iron, with the true iron of Kazarak, you can bring the vocal straight vocals straight forward and help, uh, helps helps uh, just uh, mm, to feel more details on on the vocals so this plugin is really awesome I, I, I just made a really really soft settings on it you can you can bring it you can crank it up <laughs> if you if you need it in some cases in this case I don't need uh, here I have a lot after and after and after effects <laughs> for the vocals so let's talk about that that's why I um, just um, let's listen the vocals with the all effects and I will show you what I have used on it first of all this is um, the next compressor from waves the Arvox then we have the heater very interesting uh, saturation plugin from from the noise ash company they have beautiful plugins nice emulations they have really nice 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 plugins i love them a lot uh Kramer tape stereo this is just my cream on the vocals because first of all it gives um that unique character to the sound yes of course I want to show next one decapitator and micro shift and echo boy that I have added to the vocals these are the beautiful plugins from uh, from the sound toys love them just love them a lot um, roll tag yeah this is noise -ish again I don't know guys but this for me is really 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 big opening when I found this simulation from uh, this very fabulous EQ uh, so the next one is the fresh air fresh air again from the slate digital which helped me a lot to bring the consonants this that was really important on the chorus because uh, the chorus is really full of uh, instruments. The, yes, the panorama of instruments. I really mm, made the space for the vocals, but I I have heard that the vocals is still not readable. Uh, it's not it's not going forward. I'm the opera singer. Uh, I want to tell you uh, one thing that I noticed by me or by other singers you can sing loud but nobody will understand what's going on here <laughs> and you can sing also very quiet but give a lot attention to the consonants I'm coming back to the fresh air of Slate Digital this is very cool plugin which helps just bring not only air of the voice it helps to bring the consonants also forward this is the uh, this is the fresh air from slate digital last in this chain but not least in my uh, <laughs> in my arsenal this is very beautiful plugging just big combine combination of of a lot of things that you need for your vocals here we have Tiesa here we have the vocal character 
actually as you can see here are the harmonics this is not the EQ EQ you will find right here I highly recommend this one because here you have everything you need for your for this is beautiful chain of the uh, different effects in the one here we have revel delay chorus and, and I, I don't know what what else we need <laughs> for for the great sounding vocals let's listen to the glow voice i will add the the effects one after another let's start there you are your helmet door no one's ever been able to stop me in my tracks before you're a beast a wild animal and I'm the lion that you tamed now under your control you like the ghost that follows me wherever I go Hear the music burning down deep in my soul You move me, you move me, then you leave Nice, uh, I know that in some places the vocal sounds harsh because I added a lot of fresh air But trust me, in the context of the very massive wall of the instruments uh, this chain of the of the effects. Uh, I know I I don't really like a lot a, a lot of FX or, or effects on the vocals um, in many cases uh, because um, actually when the vocal sounds good uh, I add not much as a compression and maybe a few effects uh, like uh, like uh, saturation few delays, um, not much reverb, just to, cr to create the space inside of the song. But uh, in this case, I needed to find the compromise uh, between the uh, lead vocals and, uh, and the whole bunch of the instruments <laughs> that I have, have, have created here. And here we have the back vocals chain again. This is the rule tag from Noiser. And here we have the vocal doubler from the from the isotope. And here we have the again Devil Lock, Heat and the Echo Boy for the chorus vocals. And here we are. This is the Chris Lord LG plugin, where, which I did, as you can see, I didn't use the reverb or delay here. I just used the compression, yeah, and used a bit for the consonances. I used the treble, not the trouble, treble, yeah, and the fresh air again. It helped a lot. Thing that I would like to say about um, mastering or pre-mastering just I know that it's not a loudness competition uh, but uh, anyway I wanted to add the last touch to the project uh, to the remix uh, just not just to sound louder but to sound more a, a bit more different uh, and I show you how I did it. So, my dear friends, I have to say that for the final touch, I really love the Harrison Mix Bass Daw. Um, uh, first of all, um, it has a beautiful EQ here, as you can see. Every channel has EQ, every channel has compress compressor. Each track has sent to the bosses. Uh, how many bosses here, I cannot tell you exactly, but really, um, but really a lot of them. And the only thing that I did, probably a little bit of EQ, 
and that's it. Um, and the one thing, the the only one plugin that I added to master channel, that was the uh, that was the Casrock Clip Three. My, this is my favorite limiter at the time. Uh, I use it almost on every song. It has its own built-in EQ with the different settings, with the different different character of sound for each band. So um, I made a few versions of it I, uh, of the remix. Um, afterwards, I just decided which one is the better for me. I decided it to make uh, probably one version, uh, second and third version uh, of Master Song. Um, that's it. That's it. And one of the three versions. The very next day I decided and which one I will send to the song contest. Uh, uh, and I wish good luck to everyone. But first of all, I wish creativity, good mood, stay tuned, and bye, bye, ciao.